Picked up my tour the other day, it had been for its annual service, and I was presented with the tour annual service check sheet. A lot of jobs were done, and no wonder it takes about four hours. Sometimes that's called the service schedule, and these are the terms that I'd like you to get to know, the jargon, if you're new to caravanning. When I picked up this, I also got a bill that mentioned that I'd got to replace or pay for two one-shot flange nuts. What are those, for goodness sake? Well, this is a caravan brake, and over here is the brake drum, and there's a stub axle which is threaded here, and once the drum is in place, this is screwed on and it holds it all together. That is your special one-shot flange nut. It has to be done up tightly with a torque wrench, and to explain its bits and pieces, instead of being a washer, this is the flange. And when you look very closely at this, you will see that it isn't circular, it's slightly oval. What that means is it fits very tightly on the stub axle, so it's not going to shake loose, which would be dreadfully dangerous. The only trouble is, if you fitted it two or three times and took it off and put it back on, that oval becomes a circle. So it's the procedure in the caravan industry now, whenever you have a service, to take this off, throw it away, and fit for £4 or £4.50 a replacement one. And that's a safety provision. Now let's talk about blade type stabilisers, because I've got one here. That bit's the blade. It turns back and forth as the caravan goes round the corners. That's the tow bar end, that's the caravan A-frame end, and to stop it turning too easily, you just tighten it up like that. Now, I'm not saying any more about this because I rate these and I think they're very good. You can find out more by going on the Caravan Channel website, looking on the videos under Caravan Basics and finding the August 2014 videos and there's a whole section on stabilizers being compared. Let's move on to electricity and 12S sockets and that's a 12S socket and these were fitted on caravans to about 2009 and that's the 12S plug. These dealt with things like the fridge, the charger, not the caravan lights, they were on a different socket. In 2009 they decided to bring it together and only have the one with 13 pins. This has rather less. And yes, it fits together quite easily. And what's wrong? Why did it get changed? Well, sometimes it waggled about a little bit and the centre pin on the 12S socket would sometimes spark a little bit, especially if there was damp in there. And if you found that this was getting warm, you knew that there were problems and you needed to replace both of these items. In fact, you can sometimes see, if you look at the plastic bit, it's even gone brown and it's starting to melt. And that isn't electrically safe, is it? We'll move on finally to gas-specific regulators. Gas-specific because this regulator reduces the pressure of butane. It's normally a blue regulator and it fits directly onto the cylinder and it has a coupling to suit. And this is a butane cylinder. Not everybody likes butane. Some people prefer propane, which is so much better in the winter. And that's normally, if it's one to fit directly to a propane cylinder, is orange or red. And how different the coupling is. On purpose, so that you don't accidentally fit that onto that cylinder or vice versa. I could say a lot more about this and about the different pressures and why there was a change in 2003. But why do that? Because if you go onto the website, go to Caravan Basics, Find the video from a previous programme marked Gas Safety. It came out in August 2014 and it's all there for you to take in. So that's our website. Get on there and find out some of the things that have happened in past programmes.